I'm back again at the same place, different time, my dear friends. I hope you are doing all right around the world. If you are new, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit that notification bell. You don't have to miss every news right here. Dropping left, right, and center. And we got exclusive. <laughs> what is going on on uh, Popoba? That's going to come at at the end of this video, but we got news about Chelsea, Lavio, and Christopher Nkunku progression. But on Lavia, oh boy, <laughs> it's not a good one. It's not a good one. Let's get into it. Here it is. Every indication are that Lavia has suffered some elegant, elegant damage to his ankle and will miss at last a month and a half. And then this one. Chelsea fear Lomeo Lavia will miss at last six weeks due to the ankle injury he suffered in training. This one says six weeks, that one says a month and a half. What is going on? <laughs> Look, this guy just came into Chelsea. He, he, he hasn't even started a game. You know, we haven't seen Lavia in the Chelsea Jays at Stamford Bridge or away games. The guy just signed for Chelsea. He did. He just did some training a little bit here and then he got injured. A month and a half gone. And this could turn to two months, of course, to three months, you know. So let's, let's just wait and see. Let's pray for him. <laughs> he get, you know, recovery quickly because this is just... What is going on? Do we have the doctors who, you know? <laughs> anyway, I, I don't want to go to the doctor situation because that is another shenanigans of doctors at Chelsea Football Club. We have so many injuries at this club. It's insane. It's insane when you look in the history of injury at Chelsea Football Club. <sighs> you can do. <sighs> it's just crazy how many injuries we have. When uh, Thomas Tuku came in, there was a lot of injuries. Graham Porter, a lot of injuries. And the other managers, Frank Lampard, just a lot of injuries. Just, I don't know. It's like somebody has cast a spell on this Chelsea football club. <laughs> it feels like that. It feels like that. You know, it's crazy. Let me know down in the comment. What do you think about uh, Love Your Situation is gone. You know, as I said, we haven't seen the guy played in the Chelsea Jay-Z. It's crazy so yeah we just pray for him quick recovery and hoping things get better now another one let's get into Christopher Nkunku what is going on <laughs> here it is Chelsea feel the return of Christopher Nkunku will be crucial turning point in their season people close to Pochettino believe he was the signing of a season for the offense position and we continue Christopher Nkunku is still probably a couple of months away from playing. Let's see if it's two or three. Chelsea feels this will be a crucial step in their season. Many at Chelsea believe that he was going to be the signing of the season and that it could make the difference for Chelsea. Of course, it did make a difference in a preseason. A lot of difference. Do I think... That's why Pochettino is playing back three because we don't have Christopher Nkunku. Is that why? That's not an excuse. That is not an excuse. Is that why? Because, you know, it's just confusing at the moment. What we did in preseason, it's not what, what we're doing right now when we have games at the weekend. It's just mind blowing, right? So, it is good, I have to say, we have this news Christopher Nkunku, he may come back in three or three three or two months, something like that. That is very good. Look, this guy is supposed to come in February. January, by the end of January or February, that's a long time ago. But three months from now, it's good. It's good news, I have to say. So, we play, he comes back very, very soon. Many people believe Christopher Nkunku, when he get healed, he come to Chelsea, Chelsea is going to start scoring goals. Let's see, let's see <laughs> what's going to happen now. Let's move on to uh, Popoba. What is happening in Popoba? Very surprising one. And check out this. Popoba is suspended as a precautionary measure following a positive test for doping. He has three days to request further test. What? He tested positive for doping and he has three days to request for further test. 
This is the end of this guy. If they found those tests real, well, 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 let's continue. If the positive result is confirmed, he may face judgment by the National Antopin Tribunal, potentially resulting in a suspension of up to two years, possibly extended to four, if circumstances were it, according to sports media set. And then Mr. Romano gave us this. Juventus midfield, Paul Pope has now been provisionally suspended for hand doping offense. Decision has been officially confirmed by Italian National Hand Doping Tribunal statement. My gosh, my God. Why? That's what I have to say. Why putting yourself in a mess? <laughs> There's no way, there's just no way to put yourself in this mess, you know? Let those bodybuilders guys, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, those builds, let them take all that sneakers. <laughs> you're a footballer, you're a nice looking guy, handsome guy, you know, play football, you have everything. You have money, you have cars, you have a good family, you know? Why doing this? I just don't understand why. And they're gonna find more information, more tests. And if they found it's true, he did take it. If it's true, right now, it's, it's suspended because they found one in his system. That's why it's suspended. They're just waiting to have more information. And after that, if they find it's true, then shenanigans followed this guy. You know, he may go on forever. This can be a last of Popova if they find. He did all this stuff. This can be just terrible for this guy. To six years or four years suspended. And how old is he now? 40, not 40, I'm saying 44. No, I think it's 33, right? 32, 33, something like that. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised it's Popa. You know, I'm thinking somebody else, but Popa. Man. Yep, this is where we end it, guys. Let me know in the comment about Christopher Nkunku. Looks very good. It may come back in three months or two months. What a good news. Love your side over there. It doesn't look good. He may go for two months or even three months, you know, because his injury, it's crazy. So, yeah, this is where we end it, guys. I will see you soon. Have a lovely day and stay safe wherever you are. As I said, I have a surprise for you, a very good one, and keep your eyes open on that one. It's coming. And yeah, God bless.